That comes back to your question about why DNA test. You can DNA test to confirm your paper trail, so all the work you've been doing all these years and decades. It's great to see that come to life through the DNA. You can refute your paper trail or somebody else's paper trail if you're arguing with one of the researchers <laughs> on one of your lines. Um, or you can make new, new discoveries, and that's the most exciting part of it, although I appreciate all of those aspects of DNA testing. We have many, many people who've made shocking discoveries. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the story about uh, Irish Alice. I wrote about it on my blog. So she thought she was 100% Irish. She took a DNA test, and she was 50% Ashkenazi Jewish. Now, we're not talking 1% like I was, which was a surprise, but 50%. So what is going on? I mean, she called herself Irish Alice, so it was especially <laughs> interesting. So um, she started testing her brothers and sisters, and they all were consistent with that. And she saw by her brother's X chromosome, see, uh, men only get their X chromosome from mom, and his was not Jewish. So that told her it's dad's side this was coming from. And when the men did the Y DNA test in that family, it confirmed that it was an Ashkenazi Jewish uh, direct paternal line. So it took a lot of research and a lot of years, but mostly it took luck. Eventually, a second cousin tested that didn't, that, let's see, how do I explain this? Didn't match her, but it matched her paternal first cousin that she did not match. So she tested her paternal first cousins and there was no match, right? So her dad and their dad aren't really genetic brothers. So someone eventually tested and matched that cousin of hers. And she started talking to them and she said, well, yeah, my grandfather was born on September 24th, 1913, something like that, um, at this particular hospital in New York. And Alice said, that's where, that's where my father was born. And it turned out they had been switched at the hospital at birth. Oh, my God. And the Irish boy grew up Jewish, and the Jewish boy grew up Irish. And so they lived a life that was meant for the other. And they both always had identity questions their whole lives. They, unfortunately, it was 100 years ago, and so they didn't get those answers in their lifetime. But this never would have been unraveled without DNA testing. And now we're finding other baby switches. So I always tell people if their DNA doesn't match what they expect, don't jump to the conclusion it's a baby switch, right? But you know, we are seeing that. 